Somehow on the first patch of every region, Hoyoverse loves to release bow characters. We had Venti for Mondstadt, Chout or Ganyu for Li Yue, Yoimiya for Inazuma, Tainari for Sumeru, and now Lini for Fontaine. Perhaps Hoyoverse does this, as bow characters tend to be of the longer range, thereby allowing for an easier time engaging with the new enemies to learn their patterns. Anyway, as Lini's kit was partially announced in yesterday's Fontaine livestream, I would like to share some possible artifact sets and weapon builds that can be viable for Lini, some of which can be prepared even before Fontaine releases. Before we begin the video, can I just say a huge thank you to everyone for helping us to reach 1.7k subscribers. Moreover, I've also just become a YouTube partner and I'm so grateful to everyone for their support. If you have not yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and joining our wonderful family here where we provide help with Genshin and entertaining guides and videos as well. Without further ado, my name is ChargeCoin and let's begin the video. Let me first explain how his kit works based on the live stream so that you have a better understanding of my reasonings behind building him. First, Lini uses charged attacks similar to Ganyu with two charges. When he fires off the second charge, he will deal pyro damage and summon a green Makin hat. This hat will explode and deal damage when its duration expires. For his elemental burst, he will turn into this hat and deal pyro damage to enemies in the area. Let's get what you cannot farm out of the way first. You obviously cannot farm for his character ascension materials, which likely includes the materials from the Fontaine World Boss, Emperor of Fire and Ice, and local Fontaine specialties. So leave that for when Fontaine releases. What we can prepare in advance is his artifact set and weapons, which you may not actually need the Fontaine ones. As you can tell from Linny's kit, it is likely that he uses charged attacks as his main source of damage, similar to that of Tainari and Ganyu. Currently, the best charged attack artifact in the game right now is the Wanderer's Troop, whose 4 piece increases the charged attack damage of both characters by 35%. That is a lot and is likely to increase the damage significantly for Linny. But Charge Coin, what about the new artifact sets that were announced yesterday, the Merichase Hunter and Golden Troop? What if they are better for Lenny? Yes, you're right. At this point, as Hoyoverse didn't really announce the set bonuses, we wouldn't know what they are until they release. That said, I would still recommend for you to go for the Wanderer's Troop instead, as 35% damage increase for charged attacks is quite significant. What's more, the fact that you can actually obtain the Wanderer's Troop right now and are likely to already have quite a few in your inventory since they are obtained from claiming ley lines from world bosses or weekly bosses, this means that you can have Lenny already fully built and start using him with more optimal substats compared to having to farm for hundreds of hours on a new Fontaine domain before you can actually start using him. In addition, in yesterday's video, I speculated that one of the artifact sets in that domain will be for Furina, the Hydro Archon, since for Inazuma and Sumeru, both Raiden's and Nahida's best in slot artifacts came from the first domain in the region too. As such, if Hoyoverse were to follow the same trend and you're planning to get Furina, you'll likely be farming that domain anyway. So if that domain's artifacts turns out to be good for Lenny, you can always change its artifacts if you manage to get the right sets while farming for Furina. But in the meantime, you can't go wrong with giving him a good Wanderer's Troop set and using him with that. Next, let's talk about the suitable weapons for Lenny. For the free-to-play option, I believe that the craftable prototype Crescent will be useful for him considering that it increases movement speed and attack when Lenny's charged attacks hit opponent's weak spots. Weak spots refer to headshots, eye shots for ruin guards, and so on. For the paid options, or if you just happen to have them, the Amos Bow, which is Kanyu's signature weapon, is likely to be good here as well since it increases charged attack damage. The Thundering Pulse and Aqua Simulacra might be useful as well, mainly for the crit damage secondary stat that they provide. For the possible teams, as Linny is a charged attack bow user, he is likely to have lower defense and prefers to stay at least some distance away from the enemy. That is easier said than done though, since enemies are likely to rush close to you to attack. 
As such, a shielder such as Zhongli, Toma, and Layla may be useful to increase Lenny's resistance to interruption. To provide him with pyro reaction damage, it is also good to put a hydro or cryo applicator on his team. That said, the usual Ye Lan and Sing Chiu will not be optimal here since you will need normal attacks to trigger their burst and Lenny uses charged attacks. As such, off few applicators such as Kokomi's and Mona's elemental skill, as well as Ayato's, Kanyu's, and Layla's elemental burst may be more useful for Lenny to trigger reactions. Healer and damage buffer Bennett, which will also provide the pyro resonance to further increase Lenny's attack, will be useful too. The following is my pre-Fontaine release build for Lenny. For my artifacts, I'll be using the 4-piece Wanderer's Troop with an Attack Sands, Pyro Damage Goblet, and Crit Rate Circlet. For the weapon, I'm using the Thundering Pulse for the crit damage as I have one extra copy. For his team, I'm considering Gan Yu, Bennett, Zhongli, and Lenny himself. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. What do you think about the suggestions that I provided? Will you be building Lini first? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful, or just enjoyed the video in general, do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't, as I post regular Genshin Impact videos, and we just passed 1000 subscribers. Come and join this wonderful family, and watch the videos as they release. What's more, we also just created a new ChargeCoin community Discord server, where you can come relax, chat, get some Genshin or Honkai related help if needed. Do consider joining, the link is in the description below. Thank you and see you next time, bye bye!